Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a banner like uh, these images going past on your screen now which I use for my episodes um, they're a lot like syndicates because he's got one going and I had one going round about near his time but it did give me more of an inspiration to do it um, it's worked out for me it's helping me grow my audience so anyway I'm gonna do a tutorial because some of you guys have been asking how do you make it so you know I just had a go one time and it worked out very well so I'm going to try and give you a tutorial, I'm not the best at them but try doing it step by step with me. So first I need to remember what the image size was for these ones so it fits a 720p, Not I don't think it fits 1080 because I don't do it in 1080 but I do it in 720 uh, but if, if it don't just keep saving it and keep going back to it and editing this. Anyway so we want to... 1450 and 800, so I want to go on file and, uh, where I in new. Uh, 141450 and that wants to be 800. Okay, so right, so now we have like the set out, which is going to be like this. And uh, first of all, you want to do is go to this little pen tool here. Uh, yeah, it's called pen tool, so you want to make sure the second one's. Um, Oh, what's it called? Ticks, <laughs> whatever. Uh, selected the first one of that one, and make sure you get to this little bit, and make sure you pressed. You, you've got to press rubber band. Right. So then you want to come along. If I'm going too fast, guys, just pause it. You want to go along here, and you want to like map out something like that, and drag it like that, say, and then bring it right across. Old shift can make it parallel if you old shift. So I'm gonna old shift for a bit up to about there ah oh, shit yeah <laughs> there and then try and make it the same as the other side on this bit here try and make it like the other side so it's not all dodgy yeah that thing that'll do me right now don't click anywhere else make sure you've got that bit looking like that you want to left click uh, right click I oh, keep getting mixed up stroke the path with a brush simulate pressure it doesn't really matter uh, press OK so that'll do that bit what you've just done then uh, right click again you want to delete the path so you don't have to make another one and that's that uh, top of the banner bit done basically so first of all you want to click on layer 1 which the one is on and then you want to go and paint it whatever colour you want to paint it which I'm going to I think I'm going to do blue yeah I'm just going to do normal blue and paint it because it's you know it's like that if it starts painting everywhere else it's because wherever you've started the line it's not right to the end so that makes the whole thing one there'll be like a gap right in the end make sure you start from the outside it's just a lot easier anyway so I don't want it just plain blue I want it to I want it to well we could make it glow I suppose uh, where are you size we can make the glow size not that one I'm on the wrong one inner not inner inner glow not outer glow this is just optional so you go into here you can hit the size you can make it glow like that and I'll make it glow and you can bevel and emboss which you want you, you might want to do it's really it's really good really good guys real good anyway size you know you can make it all beveled and stuff soften it because it looks a bit you know then you can come onto the stroke tool and stroke it with just a color black nice and simply make it nice and Colored, or you can change the color to something like yellow. I think that's just for example. I'm just going to show you for example. You can just you know do it yellow, like like mine on this one's orange. Wait, let me show you. Like mine on this one's orange. This sort of go with my Tech It series because the Tech It logo is you know it's a bit grey and and uh, orange. So this one I'm just gonna I'm gonna make sure that this stroke it black. I'm gonna stroke it black instead. Uh, for simple reasons it just looks better like that so you come on to now you've got this right you can go and add a rectangle tool and make it you know a nice decent size not too big it's because it's got to fill this bit right and then that will come up the same color right you want to do double click that and make it whatever you color want by going color overlay you can change any color you want I'm gonna make mine yellow I like I don't know why but I like yellow and blue uh, click OK and you want to stroke it. If you want to stroke it, you can stroke it like a little pussy cat. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to make it mm, not blue. I'm going to have it 
white. Let's stroke it with a bit of white. Let's make that to two or something. Uh, then you can't really see it because it's on that bit there. So by stroking it like that, it's all good, and you can bevel and emboss it again. So I might emboss, might bevel it, um, about emboss it. That's it. So by doing that, you can duplicate that. You don't have to do this. This is just to make it look better if you want to. Uh, you can double click the shape one copy again and you go down to the stroke and you just put it into like a different color maybe I'm going to make it black and just make that like just bigger than the other one not too bigger about that and as you can see you can't really see the yellow line, uh, white line so you just take it underneath and it should look good yep and if it don't you know you can just keep editing it and keep going back into one I'm getting into a bit much detail here, but this is just to make it look good. Uh, like that, and then I'm going to make that one just a little bit more bigger on the stroke area. Oop, not too much. I'm going to make it free. No, yeah, for free. Okay, so if we move that up, oh god, you have to come together. Let's like, con uh, hold control and click on both, and then you can drag them together. And I'll put that there. That looks nice there. Could look better, but you know, life goes on. Uh, right, so I think I'm gonna. I think it's this one, yeah. Uh, my stroke, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change the stroke to a blue. Uh, no, I'm not. A light blue, maybe. Yeah, I'll we'll do that. And now I can do that. And right, from there on, now you wanna add the text tool if it's too big just bring it down on this bit right, it's on 72 you want to put whatever you want to put in the text you don't have to put last episode or anything uh, this what just just what I do last episode you want to drag it down and put it into place like that and you've got to press that to apply it so you can do stuff to it so now it's there and it's named last episode so that's good you uh, know what you're doing then and then you can come over to it and cover overlaying that lot again. Start putting it into black. I'm going to put black. If you need a stroke, you can stroke it. I don't really want to stroke mine today. <laughs> I don't want to stroke my pussy cat. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, you can you can do all sorts with it. And like that. And if you don't think it's big enough, get get zooming in. Like control alt and then zoom. Which is like scroll of the mouse if you've got a mouse. I'm going to make mine fit nicely get there and get back a little there we go nice and fit uh, we can zoom back out or just right click where are you come on uh, where are you no it's not letting me uh, just zoom back out really right and then because you've got that done you want to right um, what's it called click them all by holding control and touch them all uh, and then you want to left click on any of them and duplicate la layers press ok um, and then you've got them all well they're all thingied um, well they're all selected move it across so you've got last episode last episode and then you want to come to the copy one of last episode and you want to re no double click on the actual <laughs> yeah and do you want to rename that to next episode or whatever you want to call it and then you've got to get the text tool out again and rename it from oh, last to next next you don't have to use this font use any font next episode so we've got last and next episode all sorted nice and easily it looks good doesn't it um, if you want to do any more you put them like subscribe in the middle which I will do just to show you you just mark them all again and duplicate layers okay move it across and put it into the middle which is around about there ish um, and once again you want to rename it to subscribe subscribe for more or something like like this like like this video or five likes or something just anything like that uh, and then you, you type it in subscribe for more yep and because that's a bit big now you want to just grab the shape and the other one and then you you, you can uh, bring them out a little. Uh, 
me, I personally do Minecraft, but I can. Al I also do Gotham City and stuff, so I could like add little creepers down the side of mine, like like this one here. I've got I've got creepers here to make it look good. Uh, so if I wanted to do that, I would do that. If you mark all three of them, you can you know hold Shift and it'll bring it out a little bit, make it bigger, make it look bigger. Uh, oh, a bit too much. Let's go back. By the way, to go back, it's Control Z. It just takes it back a step. So now we're on like that. We're looking good. Uh, by adding a creeper or something, you just go on File, Open, and just find it wherever it is. Pictures. Mine's pictures, and it's in uh, random. And I've just got a load of random pictures. When it takes forever to load. Let's see if it's it's named Creeper. Is it named Creeper? I don't think it's called. Called uh, no. Nope. Uh, could add an Enderman in there. An Ocelot. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Creeper? There you are. By adding this, all you have to do is just drag it up on onto there like that, and just hold Shift and scale it down to what scale you really want it at. Move it up. It as you can see, it's in front. I don't know why. I'm kidding, of course I know why. You can either have it in front or you can move it behind by moving the layer under the subscribe um, ones, that what you just add. And move that wherever you want to move that. I'll just change that like that. Uh, it's simple as this uh, for adding another creeper to it. You just duplicate the layer of the creeper and press OK. You can rename these to creepers and stuff, uh, but I personally don't care really. Uh, bring that out and hold shift and spin it round as in go right across by holding shift to make it look like don't really matter you don't have to hold shift <laughs> but uh, you do that and then you've got two creepers other side of each other uh, you can play around with everything it's really simple uh, you can merge layers like shape one and shape one can oh I held, held wrong one shift and shift not control I don't think Sorry if I said control and it won't work and it's shift instead, I don't know. Uh, it's one of them. Merge merge layers, so it takes up it doesn't take up much, up as much. Like shape one, shape one, you can merge layers. By merging layers though, um, you can't unmerge, so you need to make sure that that's what you want. And that's gonna be it for this episode guys. I hope you like it, I hope it helps you out. It's a lot like syndicates and um, play around the colours, learn some more stuff. I know syndicates got like Minecraft uh, like pixel stuff I can do that too but it's uh, it's a lot more hard work um, but simple stuff like this will uh, grow your audience and if you like the video please leave a little like subscribe for more and peace out